hey y'all welcome back to my channel drain the happiness and if you're new here welcome to my channel i would love for you to like comment and subscribe so i hope y'all don't mind i'm going to be eating my breakfast while i talk to y'all because i'm about to go grocery shopping and i'm actually running some errands and then going grocery shopping and you know they say you shouldn't grocery shop on an empty stomach or grocery shop when you're hungry so i got here a bacon egg and cheese bagel sandwich from dunkin donuts i barely ever go to dunkin but i like bagels so and i have something i haven't tried before this drink is called cookie butter brew i think that's the name of it something like that so it looks nice and pretty i'm gonna see how it tastes This is okay. Needs more sugar. I like my iced coffee is very sweet. It's okay. It, it'll do. It'll do. Okay, y'all. Let me take a bite of my own makeup real quick. So today we're going to be talking about pretty privilege. So um. Excuse me, y'all. Maybe I should have ate before I started recording, but I'm sorry. So, um, I got my notes here, and I just want to start off by saying this is going to be based on my thoughts and opinions and my experiences and things that I've seen. Uh, throughout my life when it comes to pretty privilege so let's get started i don't know if i have to make a part two or not i don't know it depends on how long this video is going to be so we're going to start off with what is pretty privilege so according to forbes.com they say that it's at its core pretty privilege bestows upon individuals a range of social professional and personal advantage advantages based solely on their physical attract attract <sighs> just certain words i have trouble saying it based on how attractive they are i got that from forbes.com so i'm a, in my own words i'm gonna paraphrase what they're saying pretty pretty privilege basically means that if you are highly attractive or what what society what the majority of the society sees as highly attractive you have a lot of or certain advantages in life that so-called non-attractive people or very unappealing people don't have basically um you have privileges that's the name pretty privilege um, there's things that you can do more you have more opportunities um if you are considered um highly attractive and i want to say pretty pretty privilege is definitely a thing um if you don't see that you're blind um i think pretty privilege has always been around but there's never really been a, a name for it until like the last few years <clears throat> so let me go by my notes okay so Another point that I want to make is, because I want to start off like when we're kids, because when you really think about it, the importance, oh, hold on, hold on, let me say this first. I'm sorry, y'all. So when we are kids, we are lied to. We are lied to. One of the two quotes that we are told when we are children are, what matters is what's on the inside, not the outside. And that's BS because people, most people, they treat you how you look. Um, yeah, if you are more attractive, and when I keep saying more attractive, I'm saying if you are what society says, the majority of society says that is 
considered attractive, you will have more opportunities in life in certain situations. You, you have more opportunities, more advantages in life. So it does matter what you look like on the outside. It, honestly, what you look, look like on the outside is almost as important as what kind of person you are on the inside. Because <clears throat> lots of times, like, if you don't look a certain way, if you're not at least what some people would consider somewhat attractive at least, there are opportunities that you more than likely won't have or either you'd have to work twice as hard to get those opportunities. And that I'm just being honest. It is what it is. What you matter looks like. That might not be right. Is that fair? No, but that's the way it is. And another quote that we were told growing up is, broody is in the eye of the beholder. That's not really true because you may think you're beautiful or I may think I'm beautiful but if the majority of society doesn't find me attractive or a certain person attractive there are certain opportunities that you will not have so it kind of beauty does it does matter what other people think of what you look like the majority not everybody in the whole world but the majority it does matter in certain situations like, um, let's say you want to be a model. You have to look a certain way. There, um, being a model is a whole career based on what you look like. That's the main thing is what you look like. So you could be a wonderful person. You could be a great person and you feel great about yourself. But if the mod model agencies, the people who are in charge, if they don't like the way you look, more than likely, you're not going to have many opportunities to become a America's Next Top Model. See what I'm saying? So, the fourth point I want to talk about is in, in high school, the most popular girls are normally the most attractive girls. Really thinking about it. And I'm, I'm bringing up like childhood and high school because that's where it starts at. That, it's not just adulthood. That's where it starts at. Really think about it. In most high schools, who was the most popular girl? Think about when you was in high school. Who is the most popular girl in school? The most popular girl in school is almost always very attractive. She's got to be attractive. People have to like the way she looks. When you think about who was the prom queen, the cheerleaders, um, the most popular girl. And I remember when I was a senior at the end of the school year, um, we were doing that little survey, you know, when they do like, who's the most likely to succeed? Who's the most likely to become rich? Who's the most likely to do this and that? And there was one category we had to vote on. It said, um, who's the most attractive? Why is that even a category in for high schoolers? So we had to vote on who do we think among our peers is the most attractive? Why is that even a category? Because it matters. It matters. We're taught that when we're young. Otherwise, that wouldn't even be a category. So... Number five, I've had have to be pretty to be in certain friend groups. Um, and I've seen it where like, I've seen this for myself where certain girls or women, they won't befriend certain girls if they don't find them attractive. I've seen where girls say, oh, we should let her in our friend group. And like the leader will say, mm, she's not pretty enough to hang with us. Um, I don't know if y'all know who Erica Banks is. I believe she's like a rapper. And she had actually, I think it was a year ago or two years ago, she had got caught up in some drama because um, she was in a group chat. And she was telling the group chat, like, <clears throat> if I have something of the lines of, if I have friends that look a certain way, if they ain't got no BBL, they ain't shaped, they don't have a pretty shape, they ain't got their nails done and this and that, they can't come to the club with me. I'm sorry. You can't come to the club with me. She was like, because when I go out, I'm looking to broadcast a certain aesthetic. And if you don't meet that aesthetic, you could be my friend, but you're not going to the party with me. I'm sorry, because you have you have to look a certain way to go with me to a party. So it's like, there. oh, somebody getting pulled over. So it's like girls and women won't even be friends with certain women based on the way they look. So it's not even about like, not just even men, but women won't be friends with other women if they're not attractive enough to their standards. 
Think about how crazy that is. But it's true. When you think about it, highly attractive people, like girls, they no normally, they hang with other highly attractive people. Average looking women normally hang with average looking women. And when I say average, I want to make this clear. Average is not a bad thing. If somebody is like, oh, how do you think she looks? Oh, she's average. That's not a bad thing. It's not, they're not saying you're ugly. It's just you average. Like you're cute. You know, you ain't uh, Beyonce, but you cute. You cute. I like the way you look. It, average is not a bad thing. So anyway, let's see what else do I want to talk about. Um, oh, okay. So number six, let me take a bite of my sandwich, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> Mm, sorry. So, number six is it's not fair because we cannot control the way we overall look. And I think I want to bring this up because I never really hear anybody talk about this. When you really think about it, we can't help the way we look. So it's something that we don't have con much control over. We don't choose the family that we're born into, and we don't choose the way we look naturally. So it's like, it's something that really, is it fair? No, it's not fair at all. Now, there are certain things that we can do. For example, like, if you're overweight, you can lose weight. You can control that. I know I need to lose weight. You can go to the gym, start eating right. That's something that you can't have control over. And that has something to do with your looks. Some people look better when they're not overweight. Um, You can control the way you wear your hair. The way you take care of your skin. You know, drinking water, drinking stuff that you know is good for you that's going to make you look good. We can control the way we dress. You can dress a certain way to make yourself more attractive. So, you know what I'm saying? Making sure you always look presentable and put together. So, there's certain things that we can control to a certain extent. Even, you know, some people take it as far as getting surgery. And that's how you know pretty privilege is a thing. There's women out here spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars um, flying to Puerto Rico and stuff, risking their life to get pretty privilege. They're getting the BBLs, the breast lift, this and that, the tummy tuck and all this stuff because they want to look a certain way. Because they know looks are important at the end of the day. They are. If they, if looks weren't important, people would not be out here literally getting surgery to change the way they look. They wouldn't. So, um, yeah, when you think about it, you know, if somebody that you, if you consider somebody just straight up hideous, they look just horrible, they ugly as F. Don't make fun of that person because you really you can't help the way you look to a certain extent. Like I said, to a certain extent. If you just tow up from the flow up, you can't help that. You can't help. We don't choose the way we look. God didn't ask us, hey, what, okay, I'm about to make you what you want to look like. You want blonde hair? You want black hair? Uh, how tall do you want to be? You know, Imagine if we got to make ourselves. If God, before we were born, God had us fill out some kind of survey. Like, fill this out. Tell me what you want to look like when you grow up. Everybody in the world would be good looking. Everybody would be good looking. So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody would be fine. We just, everybody in this world would be fine as hell, beautiful as hell. But we 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 don't have that luxury of con controlling the way we naturally look. So, it's not fair, but what can you do about it? Besides, you know, like I say, if you're overweight, lose weight. You know, dress a certain way, wear your hair a certain way, and stuff like that. So, I just want to point that out there that we, it's something that's kind of messed up because we don't control the way we look. We don't control the body that we were born with. You, I mean, you know, overall to a certain extent, anyway. So, um, I want to give some examples of pretty privilege. So, I'm gonna give like some small examples and then some more like big examples. So I have number one for my smaller example is I got a upgrade of a meal at Wendy's because <clears throat> I, I consider this a pretty privilege even though this is something this is something that is very major it's not a big deal but I remember one time I went to Wendy's and 
the guy there was a guy that was the cash register taking my order and i had on this rihanna perfume called nude right and he said oh you smell good what you got on victoria's secret or something i said no so he liked the way i smelled and he told me i looked pretty and i said thank you i had got like a i think i got a small combo and he upgraded my combo to a large i didn't have to pay extra to have it upgrade i didn't even ask him to do that now i know y'all like girl okay he upgraded your meal to a large that ain't no big deal but i'm just using that as an example because that's what i mean when i say that's a that is a form of pretty privilege because he liked the way i looked and smelled he upgraded my meal he wasn't supposed to do that if his manager knew he did that he'd probably be in trouble but he did that because he liked the way i looked i didn't ask him to do that so yeah that's just a small example um another another example is i got getting more help at work i used to work with this girl um her name was jennifer now jennifer was gorgeous she was beautiful and i she was a cna she's no longer a cna now she was gorgeous and um she dressed very well um like on her days off i was friends with her on facebook I would not think she was, if I didn't work with her, I didn't think, I would not ever think she was a CNA. Cause she, the way she dresses and stuff, like, like she could be a model or something. She was absolutely gorgeous and she was nice too. And she had a really bubbly personality as well. So people were naturally attracted to her, right? And I remember this one guy, we was at work and we was working short staff. He did all her charting. Um, He took the trash out for her. It was her not to take the trash out. And he was just giving her extra help, like answering her call lights and stuff like that. And he did that because he had a crush on her. So that's just another example of like pretty privilege. She was getting all this extra help at work because the guy liked the way she looked. So, oh, okay, here's a good example. I remember um, me and my cousins was out, right? And there's, these three guys approached us talking about they were selling some cookies for their church fundraiser and before we saw what it looked like my cousin like kind of wrote her eyes like wrote her eyes and she kind of um whispered to us i ain't giving them my damn money but we turned around and the guy that was doing the talking he was fine he was very good looking attractive tall dark skin fine so when she saw him uh, i think they were selling the cookies for like seven dollars a box she gave him a 20 dollar bill and told him he could keep the change now, obviously, I don't call men pretty, but it's a privilege because she is the same thing. Because my cousin liked the way the guy looked, she thought he was fine, and he was, um, she, he she was able to sell those box of cookies and keep the and extra because they were seven dollars. She gave him the twenty and some keep the change. And when we walked off, she said under her breath, she was like, "Oh yeah, have a, uh, <clears throat> I'll buy the box from you just for being fine." Or she said something like that. She said, take my money just for being fine. So that is a form of pretty privilege. Uh, I'm not calling him pretty, but you you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. Because she liked the way he looked. She, he, he, um, that was to his advantage. So those are just some examples. Those are small examples. Now I'm going to tell y'all some more major examples. Number one, I have marriage. They say, who you marry and who you decide to have kids by is one of the most important decisions that you will ever make in your entire life. And that is who you marry, that can affect your life in either a good way or a bad way. And when you really think about it, when men approach women, what's the first thing they look for? Or what's the first thing they're thinking? Or why do they even approach women? Because they like the way the woman looks. It doesn't matter how good of a person you are. Most of, the, most of the time. it doesn't. You can be a, a God-fearing, the most wonderful woman in the entire world. But if that man does not find you attractive, he's not going to approach you nine times out of ten. He's got to at least find your body attractive or your face, both. So if a man doesn't like the way you look, he's not going to approach you. So therefore, like, he's not going to marry you. Like, he's, he's not even that man will not even get a chance to get to know you i hope that makes sense so yeah so number two i have and i'm probably gonna have to end the video here and make a part two 
Um, number two I have is Beyonce. So I love Beyonce. She's Queen B. But I do feel though if Beyonce wasn't as attractive as she is, she would not be where she is now in the music game. I I do believe Beyonce is a very hard worker. But I feel like her looks though um gave her a very very far advantage um because people like the way she looks so that's that boosted her career it took her career from here to here i feel like if you if people like the way you look especially like in the music industry the entertainment industry you're more than likely to make it versus if they don't like the way you look um krishan rock and I gotta go after this, y'all. Kashawn Rock is crazy as hell. She's done some of the, me she's done some messed up stuff. But uh, before she got them tattoos and stuff, she's physically attractive. I feel like if Kashawn, if Kashawn Rock was not, if people didn't find her attractive, she would not be famous right now. She would have never became famous. I I don't think she would. E either she wouldn't have became famous. Or people will not be supporting her. Because even after all the crazy shit that she has done and does. She still has supporters. She still has fans. But I feel like if she wasn't attractive. um, She wouldn't, she wouldn't be where she is right now. Because first of all. She became famous because she was on Blue's reality show. Of course Blue Face the rapper. He picked out the girls. Of course he's only going to pick out girls that he's attracted to so he was never attracted to her he would have never picked her so she would have never gotten a show she would have never um made music and become famous so i feel like if she was unattractive to most people she would not be getting away with all the stuff that she's gotten away with now people would not be paying tickets to go see her perform none of that so i feel like kashawn rock she that's a way that she's benefiting from pretty privilege like being pretty literally changed Kashawn Rock's life because before she got famous um she was homeless she used to be homeless broke as hell she says that and I feel like if she, most people thought that she was not attractive that um she would still probably be broke or she wouldn't became famous she wouldn't became famous somebody just making six figures she might be a millionaire by now so she wouldn't be where she is right now if she, if she was not attractive. So I'm going to end the video now. Um, the main point I want to make is basically um, being highly attractive can literally change your life in a certain way. Being beautiful, what society says is beautiful, can literally change your entire life. Look at Kashawn Rock. It, it changed her life because I'm telling y'all, if people didn't think that girl was pretty, she would not be where she is right now. So, pretty privilege is definitely a thing. Um, I'm going to make it part two because this video done got long. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.